A suspected tornado ripped through a village in Staffordshire today, tearing off at least one roof. CCTV cameras caught the moment, first thing this morning, that strong winds swept through the village of Nutton near Stoke-on-Trent. It sent debris flying, toppling over, as you can see, this caravan. In Derbyshire, a resident suffered head wounds when the tiles came loose and hit him on the bed where he'd been sleeping. The Met Office says tornadoes are rare, but around 30 are reported each year in the UK. Hello there. It was a very unsettled day on Monday, very windy for many of us with widespread gales and a whole mixture of weather conditions. For the weather, morning, Simon, it looked gorgeous where that was filmed the other day, but yeah. perhaps not so much. Um, I mean, yesterday was gorgeous in one part and then it's terrible in another, wasn't it? You <laughs> yeah. know, we had everything. We had hail, thunder, strong winds. Yeah, pretty uh, turbulent day across the UK. And uh, that was a Typical scene, actually, with some really dark thunderclouds and the odd rainbow pointing through as well. Today, thankfully, will be a little bit quieter. We'll still have quite a chilly north-northwesterly wind, but the showers are not as heavy or as frequent as they were yesterday. Lots of damage in lots of different parts of the country. Lots of calls to roofers. Getting yes. a roofer in Westbridge is going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah, those uh, stunning pictures from Staffordshire as well that we've shown you. A uh, caravan being battered, uh, those pictures. And it's gone. From our colleagues at Radio Stoke. Look, it just goes over so easily, doesn't it? You get a sense of the scale of the wind. And Simon is here to tell us whether it's going to be like that for the next couple of days. Well, yeah, that's interesting because it's uh, maybe a tornado. It's not confirmed as a tornado because you have to have actually see the kind of the spiral uh, funnel coming down and touching the earth. It could have just been straight uh, winds, you know, just very gusty winds, a squall wind. That caused that damage, but regardless, you know, we can see what it can do. Uh, yeah. But interestingly, you may not know this, but tornadoes are actually not uncommon in the UK. We get about 30 to 50 every year. Wow. So, but they just tend to be quite small and we don't really tend to notice them that much, but yeah. They're certainly noticing whatever happened there. Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. But another really fascinating photo that we had yesterday is this. This is called Mamata's Cloud. And you can see the bulges underneath the cloud here. Really turbulent skies yesterday. As I said, we had uh, hail, the winds, the rain, bit of sunshine in between and those thunderstorms which moved their way south and eastward. So it's this, this was yesterday, those heavy showers and thunderstorms quite widely really causing quite a bit of damage uh, with those strong winds in places. And as I said, a bit of everything in the forecast yesterday. We've been talking a little bit this morning about the weather, how wild it was in parts of the UK yesterday. But we're going to show you the view outside our window right now because it's really rather lovely. Look at that. Finally. Yes. Finally, the sun is shining. It's, not it's a bit always like that. Still and settled here on the Costa del Salford. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, will Out it for last? A swim later. Should we? Do you fancy that? A bit no. of wild swimming? No. Not there. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> but at quarter past seven, nearly, Simon can tell us if this nice, calm weather is the same everywhere and whether it might continue. It's definitely a. Oh, yeah, it isn't really it? After is. yesterday, <laughs> we had everything yeah. thrown at us thunderstorms, hail, suspected tornado. Uh, but yes, it's a calm and serene start today for many of us. Look at this lovely scene in Devon this morning. Bit of cloud in the sky, but largely we've got some sunshine. We've been reporting this morning about some really dramatic weather we've had over the last 48 hours. Yes, lots of damage actually yesterday. Mm. Simon is here with a look ahead. What's it yeah. going to be like? Yeah, the suspected tornado in Staffordshire. It still needs to be confirmed because I don't think at the moment we've seen any actual uh, footage or evidence of a funnel reaching the ground. It has to touch the ground for it to be a tornado. So it may have just been a really uh, intense squall line, really powerful winds that caused all that damage in Staffordshire. But thankfully today, yeah, a much quieter day compared to yesterday. We've had some lovely uh, blue skies, a bit of sunshine this morning. That's in Manchester just a short time ago. But there are some April showers out there. Uh, we've got some rain affecting eastern areas of the UK. But look at these showers across Wales into southern areas of England. Still a little bit of winteriness over the higher ground of Scotland as well. But with some sunny spells and showers, of course, that gives us some rainbows. And we've had this lovely double rainbow here in Maidenhead uh, through this morning. And you have been promising a little bit of an improvement? Yes, I think today will be an improvement from yesterday. Yes. And there'll be bigger improvements, in fact, as we go through the rest of the week, towards the end of the weekend. 
uh, it's looking a little bit drier, thankfully, for many of us. We still have some April showers out there today, though. A fabulous rainbow this morning uh, from one of our weather watchers. Let's find out from Simon whether it's a coat or a brolly day or both. <laughs> both, I yes. think, yeah. It's one of those ones where if you're out in the wind in the sunshine, it'll feel warm, you know, because the April sun is quite strong now, isn't it? But then you need to grab your umbrella because there'll be a few showers passing by as well. Scarf? Mittens? <laughs> uh, might be pushing it a little bit, John. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, yeah, April showers in the forecast, but the showers won't be as bad as they were yesterday for many of us. We had that suspected tornado, of course, in parts of Staffordshire. But this morning, we've got some blue skies. Look at that fair weather cloud. Lovely scene here in Hampshire. But as I said, you might want to keep the umbrella handy because then you might be presented with something like this in Suffolk. Frequent showers have been moving through here this morning. But as we go to the end of the week, as I mentioned, things improving because this big area of high pressure is going to move further eastward. On Thursday, still one weather system moving its way through, but it's by Friday into Saturday that we'll see this high sitting right over the UK and we'll see that wind coming in from the south as well. So temperatures should start to rise again. We lose that colder air towards eastern areas. So with that, temperatures rising, the area of high pressure over us, there'll be some light winds, variable amounts of sunshine. The detail on that is still to be worked out, but overall it's going to be dry. In fact, we haven't had this sort of weather pattern across the UK since early January. So just to give you an indication of how wet it's been recently, and how much nicer this weather is going to be for the end of the week. And certainly much uh, quieter, I think, than it was yesterday. Let's yeah. hope so. It feels like we haven't had that kind of weather pattern since about 1995. <laughs> it feels like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> At last. Simon, thank you very much indeed.